I thought I explained my tats now cuz like I told y'all about two months ago I came to the conclusion that I'm about to tap my whole body up and every single one of them gonna mean something so I thought I'd go ahead and get y'all caught up on what every tap mean and um yeah and I got time now this video on this new one I just got can't really see it right now but yeah I'm gonna go, go over it but yeah that again all right I'm back as you can see I changed t-shirts because I don't feel like standing up and showing y'all my whole tasks I rather let them just be visible so I can just talk about them. all right first tap first it's gonna be this one now here all right as you can see right here it says in love and memory Devon very first tat I ever got homeboy that passed away I ain't gonna talk too much about that but the ones that do know me know that these will always be up till I die all right. The second tap that I got, um, I got a connection one when it came to my Vaughn tap. So as you can see, this one, Virgin Mary. Um, definitely like this piece, especially when it comes to this um this tear mark. All right. Um, let's go to my third tap. Then I just started just wanting to connect this whole piece. So pretty much my whole chest piece is gonna be um dedicated to my boy Vaughn. All right. Oh my God, Jesus on this side. And once again, I got this whole thing going on, black and gray. All right, but definitely um, told my tap man to definitely uh, get that teardrop once again to connect with this one. And that did this tap is actually my tap man officially, um, which she is in the video, which I will show y'all um, during the time lapse. That's my tap man until I probably move to Cali or something, but. That is my tap man because he is a fisher. Um, and he did my whole sleeve, which I'll get into. My third tap will be the one on my rib. All right, it says Haiti down. All right, I don't really want to stand up and show y'all, but just pretty much Haiti going down my ribs. Um, I am going to get that redone and add some more to it. So let's go on to my sleeve and my hand. All right, I got this done. All right, it says a reason. On my hand, a lot of people think it says Jason because I'm always having a long sleeve on. So if you really could, it looks like it says Jason, but it don't. It says a reason. All right, but um, pretty much self-explanatory. I used to question a lot of things. Um, two or three years ago, everything I used to have, I used to question. Until I got to a point where I'm like, that made me who I am today. Pretty much everything I have, so I'm not gonna question no more. It's happening for a reason. So let's just. Let it be what it be, pretty much. So every single time I look at my hand, or every single time I try to question something, pretty much realize that chill out with uh, everything happened for a reason. Um, so I'm not looking at something negative. Everything positive. Reason one's the reason why I am, like I said, uh, part partnering up with uh my cousin named Johnny J Tech, um, with this major T-shirt line. If you haven't got your T-shirt yet, go ahead and get that. But the reason why I'm partnering up with them is because. It, it, the t-shirt is it's more than just a t-shirt it represents our positivity and everything else that comes with it um i will put the link or i will put the name of the instagram if you want to find out right here all right let's get into my sleeve now uh the sleeve is, is the whole sleeve is called lost culture um pretty much it means first i i'm haitian a lot of people that don't know that i am haitian all right and um only way you would tell I'm Haitian is through my accent that pretty much not saying that I'm Haitian but you know I'm not from here um but yeah I'm Haitian um, the reason why it's called lost culture is because I can barely speak it now I know a few words and the only words I do know is the ones that my mom always stay telling me um Femme Bouchou, Kisao D and, and so on and so on but uh I can understand everything, don't get me wrong. Um, I get a Haitian person standing right in front of me and talk all day, I can understand it. But when it comes to me speaking it back, I completely lost it. Which is one of the reasons why I got the Lost Culture tattoo. 
Of course, I had some more swag to it. So as you can see, the tiger and things like that. Just animals that represent animals that's there. Um, and it's not finished yet. Um, so the compass, as you can see, that's on here it is pretty much lost. I um trying to find a way back home. So when it comes to that, just self-explanatory once again. Why do people need compasses um to find their way back home? Why is it called lost culture? Because I completely lost out of my culture a little bit. Um, you can see in here, um, this is a statue uh, of the Neg Marone. Um, more accent too, but I'm not gonna say the accent. But this statue right here was pretty much one of the statues that stood standing while the earthquake happened, um, which is one of the reasons why I got it. Um, just it just represents a lot more. It represents um, a slave pretty much that, like I said, escape. Uh, from slavery um as you can see in detail there is uh he got a machete right here um it just goes more in detail which i could just look look on up i don't feel like going in detail that but it called it's called neg Maron, um famous statue in haiti um let's go into the next one find uh, this right here uh probably one of my favorite pieces i just got done it's a lady and and, and it's it's pretty much she got her mouth covered that says help and this pretty much represents um, just hate once again. Um, we we're struggling, um, as as everyone know. And one of the things that pissed me off the most is every time somebody talk about Haiti, the first thing they do say is the poorest, poorest this, poorest that. All right, but they keep forgetting about all the other things we did. Um, but once again, it's just it's just a cry for help, I do. But anyway, I feel like I'm rapping too long for y'all. Um, enjoy the time lapse many more to come the piece is not finished yet. i still got a lot more to cover as you can see the spaces but enjoy the time lapse hit that thumbs up button if you enjoy it and yeah man enjoy Yeah. 